One of the most important functions that actually occurs in mathematics, which comes out of calculus, in fact, something that you may see at some point soon, uh, is the following combination to make this function. I'll call it d of x, and it equals f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. That combination of putting a function f together in this way is something that's called the difference quotient, and it actually is a really important thing for calculus, where you're trying to understand instantaneous rates of change. So let me just show you how you'd actually find this thing for particular values of functions. Suppose the function was just 3x minus 5. Well, then what would this thing be for that? Well, wherever I see f of something, I'm going to insert the data. So the first thing I see is f of x plus h. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to pr plug in and replace it by x plus h. So what I see here is 3 times x. So that's now x plus h. And then I subtract 5. And then I subtract from that just f of x, which is 3x minus 5. And that's all over h. So look what I did here. This is just f of x plus h, because I just took this function, and in place of x, I put in x plus h. And then I subtracted off the function. And what does that equal? Well, if you simplify that, if I distribute, I would see a 3x plus 3h minus 5 minus 3x. And if I distribute that negative sign, don't forget to distribute the negativity. I have plus 5 all over h. And that seems to be able to be reduced because I have a 3x and a 3x, so they cancel. And then I have a minus 5 and a plus 5, they cancel. And look what I have. I have 3h over h. And as long as I promise h isn't 0, I could cancel those things too. And I'm left with just 3. So then the difference function is really easy. It's just 3 in that case. It's just 3 in that case.